And strikes out oh. here. And ooh. Are they calling interference right there? They can't call him out. That's ridiculous. Oh, they're going to call Brooks Lee out at second base. What's he supposed to do? And Kepler trying to get more clarification from Scott Barry. But why doesn't every catcher just throw it at your ear hole? But this is a judgment call. And the judgment call here from Scott Perry is that Kepler intentionally was in the way of what Alvarez looked to be doing, looked to be throwing back to second base and just intent. And you can't challenge this, you can't review it. This is a judgment call made by Scott Perry. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'd like to see where Brooks Lee was off of second base. I don't think Alvarez was trying to do that intentionally, but the guy they keep stretched out for a possible starting duty. McGill strikes out Kepler with a high fastball and another. What? The throw hit the batter. Are they going to call the runner out? They're going to call interference. I think they just called interference on the hitter Kepler for interfering with the throw by Alvarez to second base. And that's a strikeout and then an interference called against Kepler which gets Lee called out at second. We're going to get a big argument about this. Let's see. Get his right helmet. On, him right on the helmet. Okay now now is he in the is he in the way. Yeah, he was falling, oh, falling yes, across he was. the plate. Yes he was. So Rocco Baldelli out to argue the call and Alvarez arguing for the interference call and he got the call and that ends the inning. How do you score that, Gary? Both putouts go.